Hello everyone, Makarios here. And in this guide I'm going to be showing you how to gear up your character after you've reached the end of Shadowbringers. So like most people, you have grinded out MSQ, you've gotten to the end of story, you've finished Shadowbringers, and you're like, now what? What do I do? How do I gear up as fast as I can so I can catch up with you guys and run some of that endgame content? So this is what this is all about. How to do so and how to do it quickly. Because new stuff's coming in February and you want to be ready. So let's start with the where. So firstly, your your gear is going to come from farming tombs of Phantasmagoria, which is going to give you your deep shadow gear, which is f level 460 right now. And that can be upgraded to 470. Other than your deep shadow gear, the best gear you can get in game is by farming savage content from your Eden raids. And I'll show you what that's all about here in a minute. But firstly, under Duty Finder, <coughs> we'll see where all the gear comes from. So once you hit 80, you have a few things. Once you finish story and you hit 80, you have a few things to unlock and do. You have a few dungeons to unlock, the last right now being the Grad and Cosmos, which drops 445 gear. Not so great, but it is where your tombs comes from. So unlock all that and start farming each day, once a day, your daily expert roulette. If you do your expert roulette once a day, you will reach your cap for the week of 450 tombstones of Phantasmagoria. Other than your dungeons moving down, you have your primals, so or your trials. Currently we have three. The Dancing Plague, Titania, uh, the Ground Prince, Fat Man, and Hades. So primals is where your weapons come from. Weapons do drop here, or you can turn in the tombstones you get from doing so by getting new weapons of your choice. The Dancing Plague drops weapons, the crown drops right side, so um, your jewelry, your necklaces, your rings at 450. The Dancing Plague was the first one to come out. Uh, those weapons were 450, but as of right now, the high-end primal is Hades, dropping weapons at 465 item level. Then next we have your raids. You have alliance raids, 24 man raids. Right now it's the copied factory. And you have your regular 8 man raids, your Edens. And these, uh, when, they re when they're released, they drop at 4 at a time. So right now, you have to farm your, your tombstones farm out some dungeons, and you have a few things to unlock via side quests. Dungeons, extreme primals, your Eden raids, and your copy factory raid. Now let's talk about locked and unlocked, what that means. So resets are on Tuesdays at 1 to 3 a.m. depending on where you live. So Monday nights if you're a late nighter. Um, and right now, the copied factory is locked, so you can only get one piece of gear per week. At the end of finishing copied factory, you will also get one coin, which you will use to upgrade your shadow, deep shadow gear from 460 to 470. And I'll show you how to do that. But that's what's the most important right now, other than just farming your tombs, is getting that piece of gear and that coin. Then you have your Edens. So the Edens is unlocked, meaning you can farm it as much as you want. The second you can unlock Eden and start grinding those out, the better. This gives you 450 gear, which will level up your eye level in order to get you into the Copied Factory and the Extreme Primal Hades. You need an average item level for Hades of 450 to 460 to farm that properly. So let's go over the where. So those are the things you need to unlock. 
by the end of, let's go over this one more time, by the end of Shadowbringers, you're going to be looking at about nine different primals, and each time a new one comes out, they'll give us a new, better weapon. You're going to have a total of three alliance raids and 12 of these normal raids. They come out in sets of four. So if we go backwards in um, DLCs, if you look at Stormblood, we have our three alliance raids and our 12 normal raids. And each time a new one comes out, we'll get a new coin, we'll get our one piece of gear a week from it, we'll farm our tombstones, we'll get new tombstones. When a new big patch comes out, farm those and farm the new regular raids. And we mix and match those things to, depending on what we have, to best up our item level. So your eating gear, everything's going to come from here, from Ildmore. Okay? And these are all of your vendors. You have five vendors total that will give you gear. And I will show you what those are now. So first you have your Eden. Your, no your first three are your normal Edens, and your bottom three are your Savage. Now your Savage drops 475 weapons and 470 gear. Now it doesn't drop it, you have to collect these books and then purchase that gear. So this is your true end game as far as right now goes, before patch in February. This is where this is at. Now your normal Eden gear works like this. So currently it's unlocked, which means you can go in there and farm it as much as you want. It drops antique pieces, or antique tokens as I call them. You collect two heads, you trade it in for a head, collect four chests, trade it in for a 450 chest, so on and so forth. And because this is unlocked, you can farm as many as you want. You can do this all day long. Um, before, when it was locked, you could only get one item, one of these items, per braid. So it was a pain. And back then when it was locked, these lightweight tombstones, you had to get seven. So the lightweight tombstone is what you need to get your deep shadow weapon, your endgame weapon. Uh, it starts at 460, but you can upgrade that to 470, and I'll show you how. So this lightweight tombstone is granted to you automatically for finishing the last of the Eden bosses, which is Titan right now. So just doing him four times will automatically give you four of these blades, which you turn in for just one of these tombstones. Okay, so that's your Eden gear. Highly recommend farming that as much as you can. This vendor here is where your uh, primal weapons come from. Now Hades, for example, all your primals do drop weapons randomly, but they also give you coins for defeating it. So if you're, you know, farming the heck out of Hades and your weapon's not dropping, and you haven't bought your deep shadow weapon for your character, or you already have one, you can come here and use your tombstones to purchase a weapon. However, me personally, I wouldn't do that because the mount is more important to me than these weapons, and the mount is a uh, 99 dooms to purchase a mount if you don't get it dropped. So that's uh, those are your primal stuff. Again, your innocence drops your right side. So getting your right side to 450 is really easy because it only requires five runs, and right now it's super easy to farm as an FC. If you want to farm any of these primals, we can do it for you, no problem. Just let us know, and we'll f we'll make a group. Uh, down below, you have your glorious Jiwa gauze. <coughs> I just call it the glorious pause. So here you have your glorious gem pause, and this is where you spend your coin that you will get from the Copied Factory Alliance Raid. Now then, so you get one of these coins once a week because it's locked right now. And later when the patch comes, you this won't be locked and you can farm as many of these coins as you want. Um, so it works like this. Um, f 
one coin gets you one of these deep shadow items and you use this item to upgrade your deep shadow gear which is your gear that you purchase with your tombstones of phantasmagoria to upgrade it from 460 to 470. So that's something that you do want to do and start getting in the habit of doing and again resets are on Tuesday so you want to get that sh um, get that coin as soon as you can and then you also have your uh, some random items from doing special fates that pop up in the world Calusia and the Tempest so if we shout that in FC chat hey there's a special fate up get your butt to Calusia come get your minions and your mount Other than that, he also provides you with the weapon. So again, this is where your deep shadow weapon comes from. You need one of the lightweight tombstones that we just talked about. And you also need 10 of these Phantasmagoria tokens. One are envelopes. So these envelopes are 100. They cost 100 apiece tombstones and phantasmagoria so you need a total of 1,000 tombstones of phantasmagoria and one of these tombstones to purchase a weapon which is why most people when as soon as they log in they're like anyone need expert because farming out getting to your weekly cap of 450 that's why that's important um, because people are farming weapons they're farming gear So that's that guy. Moving on to your token exchange, um, you have your first set of tombstones that came out. Uh, the Go Goita, Joita. We'll just call it Joita. So Joita <laughs> was what we got when the first when the game when Shadowbringers first came out, and then we got Phantasmagoria afterwards. And then when Patch comes out in February, we're gonna have a new tombstone to farm. But for now, this is where you get your Deep Shadow gear, 460. Um, that can, it's the only gear that can be upgraded. Okay? And you can do left side or right side with that. And your gear exchange is where you actually do the upgrading. So these are your solvents. Uh, these are the items that you traded in for the coin. Uh, weapons require the solvents. Left side requires the twine. And the right side requires the coating. All right, so that's the gear. Uh, in short, before we go over the last one, it works like this. So your finished story, now what? Well, now you go and unlock your extra dungeons to be a side quests so that you can start farming your expert roulettes and start farming those tombstones. Tombstones being Deep Shadow Gear is what you want to start farming. That's what's most important. Besides Savage, of course. Uh, you want to unlock your Trials. You want to get into the habit of farming Primals with the FC, Party Finder. These are where your weapons come from. This is where you get good as a player. Um, but to first start out, unlock these Eden Raids. Start farming those day one. Just get as much 450 gear as you can right out the gate so that you can unlock the copied factory 24 man raid. Try to do that before Tuesdays. Get your one piece of gear. Now, hot tip you can only get one piece of gear a week right now, right? However, when gear drops from, I think there's like four or five bosses, but after a boss, gear drops you don't want it pass on that gear as quickly as you can because if you don't pass on gear and everyone else does that gear just drops into your inventory and you just got your one piece of gear for like a monk hands that you don't need not your class and then you're stuck with it so pass on gear quickly and focus on gear that you need to up your item level but that's it it's tombstones farming dungeons primals for weapons and alliance raids and normal raids. And this is where it all comes from. Ildemore. Uh, and last but not least, 
we have your, for your crafting and gathering enthusiasts, we have your gear exchange over here in the corner. In short, it works like this. You can craft or purchase from the market board 450 high quality gear, weapons, and accessories and exchange them for 460 gear. To do that, you need certificates and this Calusia rain. Now certificates work like this. So you craft yourself a, an item or gather the materials and have someone in the FC craft it for you. Purchase it from the market board, which we don't recommend because gear changes so often that wasting gear on gears, eh, it's just not recommended. But for the sake of knowledge, you would come here and exchange that 450 gear for an X amount of these certificates. Okay, then you'd back out to get your Calusia Rain, how many of those you need, purchased with Tombs of Jawida, and then you'd purchase your gear 460 with your raindrops and your certificates. Now you can buy whatever piece of gear on the market board is cheapest, trade them in for X number of certificates, and buy the piece you actually want. So long as that gear, so long as you have enough certificates, it doesn't matter what piece of gear you're crafting or buying, as long as it equals the same. And that works for weapons and accessories as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, definitely hit me up in, hit up TFC in the Discord or in chat. Uh, or leave comments and questions below. If I've skipped anything, let me know. Um, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helps. And I wish you the best of luck in your rolls. Start farming those, uh, those raids and collecting those tombstones of Phantasmagoria. And we look forward to seeing you in the next patch. I have been your friendly neighborhood, Macarius Moonshadow, coming at you live. Have a good night, and thanks for watching.